are heading to the gym to go film the back workout. And you notice Carrie's driving. <laughs> this is a good reason why Carrie's driving. Honey, why are you driving? Because I wear the pants in the family. She does not wear the pants in the family. But the real reason is, if she was sitting in this seat that I'm sitting in, she's the world's worst back seat passenger side driver. <laughs> she's really good at it. If you like to, <laughs> if you like to be told how to drive, she's awesome at it. If I'm driving, I'm like, dun, 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 dun. she's like, why are we in the stupid lane? Why is this the stupid lane? It's slower. Like, I can't get over in that lane. They're doing a million miles an hour. Like, hey, we should go in that lane. Like, oh, I would my be God. Able to. Yeah, okay. And then she'd be like, well, why? Take this exit. Well, hang he on. Like a let grandpa. me, let me get I the say? map. Let me get my phone. Let's do Siri. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm really good at driving. I know. She's good at driving. Me nuts. Uh. All right, battalion members, we are filling back today. So we're continuing in the uh, off-season hybrid training that I'm doing. And I'm doing five sets of each ex well, each body part. So, But back gets two, two exercises. So you get a pulling down and a row movement. Now, I've been sticking to more machines since I hurt my back this year. This is the Hammer Strength High Row. So love this machine. This machine is the Ego machine. Okay, I see so many people on this damn machine because you can load up a whole lot of weight on it and they can like kind of swing back and they, it, it's just pathetic that with some of the form that you see on these things. It's good because it hits that middle of that, your upper back and that lat, you can feel the pinch right there. So it's a different spot than most of the other machines. And also it has this chest support, which is super important for me because I have the back injury. Today my back is feeling pretty good, okay? So I have a tendency to say, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna push it a little bit. So we are gonna push it a little bit. So we're not going too heavy, we're not going too light. We're gonna hit three sets here and then two sets of dumbbell rows. We're gonna do four sets here, one so it doesn't matter. We're gonna do five sets of rows, period, before we move on to uh, pull-ups and pull-downs. Now, again, like I said, not too heavy, not too light, but you wanna make sure that you get a good stretch because we're doing full range, we're doing partial range, we're doing everything in between right now in the off-season. Stretch, contract, stretch, contract, all right? So if you're watching this, don't load up more weight than you can use because the form police are gonna get pissed at you. All right, nice and easy. I like the brace here with the other hand. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. So I'm not going to failure. Moderate range, reps. I sound like Jason Genova now. Moderate range reps. <laughs> All right, and pull. All right, let's put a little more weight in there. Feels a little light. I feel pretty good today. Might be that bio grow. <laughs> put a little more weight on there. So we'll do. See how this feels. This might be the last set. Might not be the last set, but we'll go to failure on this one. See how that feels. Because the other one felt really good. It was a couple days off. I actually felt. Like it was a good amount of time. It was four days off we took, right, Turk? So we were done. We flew out Thursday. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It was five. Yes, yeah, so it was five days off. So I took pretty much a work week off. <laughs> All right, so let's do this one shot. Too. So I didn't count the reps, so it really doesn't matter. If your left side is stronger than your other one, if you're trying to hit the same reps, you can overtrain one side, undertrain the other. So you basically, when you're training unilaterally like that, you don't count reps. It's more of an advanced technique, but I found that over time it actually helps things even out. Oh, that's 
Rick Flair would say. Uh, we got Christopher's belt on. Ready to rock. Check my lower back a little bit. Now we're starting with one arm dumbbell rows. And start out kind of light with the 120s. It will keep good form. Stay tight with them. Really squeeze on them. And then we'll move up to the last set. We'll do is hook them up to the 140s and loosen the form up a little bit. So it's more like a Branch Warren type. Um, or Dave Pulsinella who has a little more ballistic form. So let's start out with the 120. Strap in. Oh, all right. It's a nice and easy hit squeeze. Uh. I'm getting tired already, but it's all right. So you notice that as you come up, I'll pause at the top for a second to get that peak contraction on my lat. If you're using a weight that's too heavy, you won't be able to do that. Okay, it'll be, you go right back down. So you see a lot of people with these things, you get in there like, oh, and they start really swinging their bodies or twisting or just using their legs. To develop thickness to your lat here from front to back, that big chunk. You wanna make sure that you squeeze. It may not look like a whole lot compared to what some of those other guys do, but Man, it makes a difference. 